All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion for the 2024 comedy called Late Bloomers. Now here's the plot. A 28-year-old Brooklyn Knight lands in the hospital after drunkenly breaking her hip an encounter with a cranky elderly Polish woman who speaks no English leads to a job caring for her. Now here's some of the cast. So Carrie Gillian, the actress, is the girl who plays the girl with a broken hip and she always plays this cute awkward person she was kind of cringy at first but when the old lady, polish lady came in she made made everything work so well together it was this, this missing puzzle comedy piece um i did find the old lady to be more funny than Karen Gillian. Uh, i'm i'm, I'm kind of iffy on her uh, of Karen Gillian's uh, comedy. I think she's in the middle with, uh, you know, a little bit of smirk here and there because she's kind of, the, they got the adorableness going on type of funny where everyone else got this either obnoxious or something like that going on, you know, the different comedies. Uh, but they did good. They really came, when they went off each other of the actions and the uh, comedy, it was really, really well done. Um... Keller Gerlian's character story arc was pretty good. A bit of a standard recycled story, but not always a bad thing in my opinion. And you can say the same thing about the whole story of the film. And that's technically what you get with these films, and it's kind of not one of those where... Well, it is, it's one of those that is kind of starting to become more and more common, but they still throw them out here and there. The uh, what I mean is the film was fun, uplifting type of films with love, sadness, crying. You know, by the end you're going to feel so many emotions and then really good. Um, but with this one, you got a slight depression way of talking about Alzheimer's, the message, and the difference between the worlds of generations, the generation gap, and they kind of went in with the kind of crapping on it, which I wasn't originally a fan of. Uh, but they kind of, they, I see how, what they were doing with it. They were starting with that and then they were kind of leaning towards, uh, evolution, I guess you'd say, of, of way of thinking about it. But here's my writing, I'll come back my final thoughts. So again, it wasn't technically anything special, but it was a very good watch that I highly suggest. Now, leave your comments down below. Um, yeah, so that's all I got for you guys today. Um, till hopefully Sunday or maybe Monday, probably sun, uh, Sunday, though. I'll have something else I'll, I already have planned. But or maybe even tomorrow. Who knows? But uh, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread love most importantly. Skull.